Hi guys, it's James here from Optics Warehouse uh, and today I'm just going to show you how to put the brand new firmware on the Base NV90. Uh, it's nothing too complicated, but I say you're going to see all the gear that I've got in front of me here and of course we're going to show you a computer recording at the same time. So what do you need to actually um, perform perform the, uh, the update? So firstly obviously you'll need your computer which can connect via USB and of course you use the USB lead that comes with the unit Obviously that goes into the unit and then you've got your USB end that goes into your computer. You're going to need the micro SD card that comes with the unit itself and then of course you will need the unit. So I'm going to do a step by step process just to show you how it all works and hopefully we can, we can get this all sorted out for you guys. And what this does, this firmware update does, it allows you to save your settings so therefore you don't have to, every time you turn it on, reset it to so set just the brightness, the magnification, put it in day night mode, etc. So it should be a big help. So first step is you unscrew the cap on the side, the media cap on the side. And what you do is you put your micro SD card into the unit. As so that just clicks in there, nice positive click. And then what you want to do is you then plug the micro USB into the unit. Now, I say, as I plug that one in, as you look inside, that will say, look inside there, I don't know if you can quite see it in the camera, but that says mass storage. It's a nice big blue thing with mass storage. That means it's connected to the computer. So once that's connected, that's it, that's the unit. Just leave the unit for a second. So we're going to the computer now. As you can see, obviously, I have here the firmware, which is in a zipped file, and I have the base optics unit there. So what we want to do, first thing to do, is we want to click on the zip file, double click it, and that will extract the firmware. As you see, so this computer is very quick. As you'll see, that has unzipped it straight away. It's the same principle for, um, for a Windows where you just extract all, and then as you extract it, you'll come up with the same files. So I open this new folder. Inside there, you will see a bin file, and you'll also see this 7z file. Just ignore the 7z file for now, that's just to show you the latest firmware number which is, is, is there, as you'll see, is 211012. Next thing you want to do is you open up your base optics file. As you can see it there, obviously there's no videos on this one, just the Novatech which logs every time you do do a video. And then what you want to do is you simply drag that FWLW510 bin into that file there. Wait for it to upload. There you go, positive noise coming from there. That's done for the computer for now. We go back to the unit, and what you do, it still says mass storage inside. You simply remove the connection, just unplug it. Obviously, it disappears from your computer. And then what you want to do is you want to plug it in. Once you plug it in, the screen will stay dark for approximately 30 to 45 seconds. So it's just a bit of a wait on this one. Once the 30 seconds is over, it will come up saying base optics and it will say mass storage as well. So I'm just waiting for that one just to flick up here. Let's say it shouldn't be too much longer now. Just waiting for it to come up. Um, where is it? There we go. And so it says base optics and then again it will say mass storage in there as well. So that means the firmware is now on the unit. Keep that connected to the computer. What you want to do is you'll notice that obviously your base optics has come back on the computer. So you click it. So there it is. As I say, you've got the Novatech and you've got the, um, the file there with the firmware. And all you want to do is you want to right click on that and then you want to obviously move it to the bin or if you go on a Windows, you press delete. So move it to the bin. So therefore it's removed now. And then once that's done, click on there, click on the, um, the, uh, the unit on the computer and then eject it just so it's ejected safely so you can't corrupt the firmware. And then there you go. Once I remove that out of here, that's it, I've disconnected that now. Got a battery inside of here. So I should just turn the unit on. And there you go, it turns on there. And then all you wanna do is you just go through your menu system, press the menu, if I just scroll down just to show you. Uh, da, 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 where is it, format, and then they go into version. And there you go. I don't know if you can quite see that in the camera, but you can see it says 211011 in there. So that means that has been updated. So that will save all your settings. And that, guys, is how you update the base NV90 um, rear add-on so you can save all your settings. Hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, just let us know. Thank you very much.